Hey, what's going on guys? So I decided to bring the Max out again. Uh, still with the wide kit, uh, I am still using the stock drive shafts, but as you can see, I've brought two spares just in case I snap one. And as you can see, I've put different wheels on it. This is all I have at the moment, that $36 uh, HSP 1.8 wheels, because they are so offset. Uh, with the standard swing arm, you know, the narrow set of uh, swing arms and stuff, I think these wheels may have given it just that extra little bit of width to make it stable and I think they're going to be a bit more grippy than the, the stock Traxxas wheels as well. Yeah, this is the ultimate stability. Oh, no tree. Yeah, a little bit uh, over geared now. Still runs good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that motor's really lagging out. It is a lot more stable though, than what it was originally. God, it lands hard. I got thick oil in there. Oh no! <laughs> Alright, so it's either the battery or it's overheated because of the big wheels. We'll check right now. Voltage, awesome. So it didn't overheat with these big wheels on it. Not so far anyway, but when I start doing my big jumps and stuff, maybe having big landings and stuff, I noticed does seem to stress the motors out a little bit. Although, these plastic chassis cars, what is that? That's a little wheelie wheelie. Or it was a ghost. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, the plastic chassis, you know, mounts and stuff there, they've got an aluminium mount, but they're connected to all plastic, so it absorbs a lot of the, the hard impacts and stuff. And again, these Yume Power uh, lithium batteries, they're excellent. If you can't afford real expensive batteries, yeah, definitely try these out there. They're brilliant. Still doesn't like these jumps for some reason. I think it's got something to do with how low the swing arms are to the ground compared to you know the the center of the wheel because i noticed with the with the uh notorious even my vrx cobra um a lot of the cars the swing arms are a lot higher or a lot closer to the center of the wheel rather than really low set like this one so that might be a problem it might be just hitting all the rocks and sticks and stuff as it's coming up to the jump like i said the the low center of gravity uh, chassis may have helped but I don't know there's just something not quite right about this car I really apologize as I said to anyone that enjoys these cars it's just not for me oh
<laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that was horrible. Try a backflip, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon I'll be able to get a backflip off that. Oh, that's a cool little jump, actually. Nice. Pretty bad landing. Oh, they've added even more. Oh no, they covered. Oh, yeah, it's all really soft stuff now. Oh. Again, me being so forgetful, <laughs> I did bring one of the stock wheels with me. So that's a bit of a, you know, comparison. They're not really that much, that much bigger, but they are bogging down the motor just that little bit too much. Wow, they've already got a big split there, actually. <laughs> well, that shows how cheap and bad they are, actually. Won't be buying these tires again. All right, here we go, guys, last battery. Um, I just tightened up the wheels. They, they were a little bit loose, mainly just the left side. I noticed the left side is always the one that, that loosens itself, obviously just the way the thread goes. But we'll see how this last battery goes. Another 4,500 milliamps, so should be enough power. They just don't seem to have that much runtime in this this car. Yeah, that ramp over there is too chopped out now to get decent one decent jumps off it with this car. Oh, that was very very unstable still. And that was odd. So just a quick apology for the sudden change in location. Um, my GoPro is having a bit of trouble at the moment. Keeps going to SD card error for some reason. And lighting in here is terrible at the moment, but I'm gonna get, get some more lights in here. The Max is much better with the HSP 1.8 tractor style monster truck wheels, but there's still something about it that doesn't seem quite right to me. Uh, it did make it a lot more stable with those wheels, but it did slide around a lot before the jumps and stuff. I have no idea what that what that could be, other than I did notice the the diff oil in both front and back is what well, seems to be very thick. So that could be causing a lot of sliding around and stuff. I'll leave the rear pretty stiff, but um, yeah, the front definitely needs a bit a bit lighter diff oil for a bit more control, a bit more stability. But other than that, it is a good car. You know, it's one of the toughest cars I've ever used for sure. So, yeah, it's definitely worth it if you're looking for a tough car. But if you've only got grass or bitumen, you know, grippy types of terrain, you're not going to do too well until you get the wide kit because it will flip on you. It will roll all, all the time. Um, Good for monos, good for wheelies, but it is a lot better with the wide kit and a bit, bit grippier wheels. Except I popped one, the one with the rip in the uh, little corner. Yeah, it, it ended up just tearing the whole side of the wheel off. Didn't get it on film because my GoPro, as I said, is having a bit of trouble, but that's all good. <laughs> They're cheap tyres. It wasn't very spectacular. Not quite like the HPI uh, footage. Can't really say much about this until I take it out again, but... Once I get used to it, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it a lot more. Cheers, guys. Catch you in the next video, and stay safe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and feel free to leave any comments or questions down below.